Hey y'all, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel. Glad y'all are here today. We're out here picking what's left of our Hickory King corn. We were gonna video the other day, but it was pretty windy and it's pretty windy this evening. So I'm gonna apologize ahead of time for the wind noise that y'all will probably hear. So far, um, which we only had five rows of the pure Hickory King. It's been okay. It hasn't done as great as we hoped, but it's been okay. So we're just gonna kind of show you what it looks like and y'all just come along as we pick what we got left. So as Megan said, it, this crop hadn't been near as good as what it looked like it was gonna be. We've had a lot of this. Oh no. And a little bitty short ears. I don't know. The, the, the corn itself all year long has been beautiful. We've been I we've been so excited to pick this corn. But um for whatever reason the ears just hadn't made much. So here's here's a decent looking ear. And I mean it's not all bad. We're getting it's about half and half really. Like that's a good looking ear. Mm-hmm. But um there's only one first stalk on just about all of these. And, uh, I mean, what, look at how, show them how tall this is. Oh, my. Look how tall that is. Every bit of it's that way. And tell them how many feet you are. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know, I can probably reach a good eight feet. And I'm having to reach as far as I can reach to grab that ear. Hmm. So, yeah, it's a, it's a little disappointing, but no, that's not a bad looking ear either. Yeah, it looks good. Something I think is kind of interesting though is, you know, this is the pure Hickory King. Last year, our pure Hickory King was the better performing of all of them. Look at that. I mean, that right there was on a big, beautiful, tall stalk, and that's <laughs> what the corn looks like. The best corn we've got is the hybrid we're working on. Our, you know, the one that, the land race that we're working on ourselves. So, uh, pretty interesting look at this one that one got completely soaked in the stalk sprouting oh i don't know what gets me is how pretty it was all year long and then it the ears look no better than this this one had two ears yeah i've had a couple of ears that did for the most part, that's a good looking ear. We're not being as picky with the seeds with this because we don't have as much, but we're still being as picky as we can be. You win some, you lose some. Mm-hmm. Which I ain't counting this as a loss. It just it ain't as pretty as it was. Um, by the way, way back in our videos, you you can find a video of us planting this right here corn. That's right. I'll link it in the description if you want to see it from beginning to now. Mm-hmm. Come around here, buddy. So I kind of feel like this Hickory King is making our trailer load of corn look bad here. We're just dumping it right on top of the other weed pit. Cause it's all gonna be used for the same thing. But you dig down in there, you find that pretty stuff that we grew the first time. So something a little interesting here um, that we just come across was right here towards the end. Like I said, we've had whole five rows here, and everything's been solid white, you know, pure hickory cane looking corn. But then all of a sudden, we come up on a patch of this. The two red ones come off the same stalk. These two come off the same stalk. And then this one somewhere along the line had some yellow corn bred in with it. And we hadn't planted any yellow corn. So um, I'm guessing it was possible that this got pollinated from the neighbor's field, which is probably, how far away would his field be? At least 500 feet, ain't it? At least, it's not, it's not far 
it may be farther than 500 feet from this end of the field but um anyways we just thought that was something interesting and how corn can cross pollinate with some you know something that that's that that far away now this is the only year we found it had yellow in it i just thought i'd show that and share that with y'all because i think that's pretty interesting and i will say when i planted this corn there was no red seeds there was no yellow seeds or anything it was all white seeds when i planted that corn and that's still hickory king Look at that. The corn's. I gotta walk it down. That one's like a tree. That's taller than our apple trees. It's both. All these are taller than our apple trees. How pretty is deer? It ain't too bad. Just got some damage on top of it. Yeah, you can break that off. Yeah. There we go. Nope. That looks pretty. <laughs> Looks better than it did anyway, don't mm -hmm. it? This corn ain't easy to pick somebody of my stature. <laughs> it's the last row of the year. Finally. Yep. Finally. But guess what, y'all? I'm already excited about picking next year's corn crop. I'm super excited to see how our land race corn is going to turn out for next year because um, when you go to open in something like that it's like uh like it is it's like christmas because you never know what to expect but um anyways it's about to get dark on us we've probably got double the corn this year how many more rows did we plant this year than last year oh goodness had 25 rows last year so we had 31 rows this year and 25 last year we decided to work on this land race we got double double look, look how deep the trailer is and look how much corn that is we got we got double the harvest and i really truly believe it's from saving saving those seeds from last year um, with the traits we wanted I really think that had something to do with it because this trailer was only half full last year. last night and uh, got dark on us but we went by the neighbor's nightlight and got finished uh we all together picked i think, I think it was 31 i think it was 31 31 rows of corn we picked it all by hand um so i just wanted to show y'all the final product Doesn't look too the tractor's bad. parked on part <laughs> of it but this is kind of its final resting place until we get time to shell it the kids job this winter will be to come down here and get all this shelled um i have a lot of people at comment on a lot of videos whenever we talk about this corn um how in the world do we keep the critters out of it and so i'm just gonna tell y'all we got several barn cats um and they usually do the trick we don't usually typically have a rodent problem mm -hmm. with our corn which this is right here at our house the cats kind of stay down in this area um so you know pest control <laughs> These four baskets right here are kind of hard to see with the loader in the way. But this is our, this is our seed corn for next year. 
probably way more than we'll need. But um, this was all the corn that actually met our our uh, specifications, I guess you would say. But um, that will all get shelled by hand instead of using the uh, sheller because we don't want to risk cracking the kernel when we go to shell it. So most of this, another question, a frequent question that we get, most of this will go to animal feed. Um, I'm going to say at least 95% of it will be fed to animals. The chickens, we do have a cheap hand grinder we bought off of Amazon, and I'll link that for y'all. Uh, that we've got it set on the loosest setting, and it just cracks the corn enough for the chickens. The pigs, we can feed it to them whole. The cows, feed it to them, uh, you know, after it's shelled. The pigs can actually eat it off the cob, but the cows cannot. But uh, that's what most of this is for. It makes excellent cornmeal. Right now, all I have is a hand grinder in the house, so I don't do that a whole lot unless I'm feeling real feisty. Uh, it takes me about 30 minutes to grind enough to make a pound of cornbread, but it is absolutely delicious cornbread. Now, don't get me wrong, but like I said, most of this will go uh, to the animals. All right, guys, but anyways, I guess that about wraps up today's video. I hope y'all have thoroughly enjoyed it and learned a little something and if you got any questions for us let us know and anyways guys we'll see you on the next one bye bye talk to y'all later